Okay, welcome to today's video. Um, today is going to be a very quick one. It's just an NFP, P rather, NFP rather, um, trade recap. So uh, I'll be going over the pounds USD to um, explain what really happened um, with the benefit of hindsight of what um, happened during um, this week trading session, the NFP. So I for those of you that like trading the NFP, mind you, it's not advice to trade it. It's not an advisory or a signal to trade the NFP. It's something that um, you observe because even my mentor, ICT, the inner circuit trader, doesn't trade um, the uh, advice rather um, us to trade the NFP. So I will also recommend you watching my videos or my contents to also trade the NFP, especially when you're um learning process you are still in your learning phase there are still a lot of things for you to cover but either way there's nothing to lose to know how to trade the nfp there's nothing to um shy away from when it comes to learning about this um foreign exchange market so i was just going over what um happened on friday that was last week and probably you find insight in what i'm about to show you so if you remember last week, we talked about, um, I said last week, um, earlier last month when we had the uh, May NFP, I gave you some tips for us to really focus on that um, help us be able to identify um, where the direction of the market will go actually. So um, this um, we, uh, month being the month of June, yeah, we really um, saw price do some um, a, a, pull through some of those things that we said was going to happen but later on we saw um a, a reversal a re more like a retracement i don't want to call it a manipulation why because it's just a market maker template you know what i'm saying but i don't want to call it a manipulation but i would either call it a retracement moving in the next direction of the marketplace we anticipated so i actually knew that that was, that was going to happen so i got out very early with a little amount of money so the nfp wasn't for me this week wasn't more of a rewarding um setup you understand why because um i didn't get to trade the whole portion of the move but be that is me it's something worth learning and recapping you know what i'm saying so what i'm about to show you doesn't mean i traded the tops and the bottoms taking the market direction the whole site i only took a view portion i'm going to show you how i entered and how i exited still using the same criteria as i pointed out on the May NFP session that I did on this YouTube channel. For those of you that want to see that video, I'll be leaving the link in the descriptions and also the link to some of my other um, videos that can also help you improve your trading. So mind you, don't forget the three things we always um, remind ourselves of is time, patience, and discipline. These are the three factors that keeps you in this game that will make you um, consistent. You want to be um, time conscious. Your setups will pan out in time. You want to be patient for your setups to pan out and also you want to be disciplined especially in your risk management and your trading style you know what i'm saying you don't want to be here and there you want to be consistent because it's your consistency in your risk management in your trading style that actually best the results that you desire your consistency in studying materials that actually improves your understanding so be that have to be less without further ado, let's not waste much time. So I'm going to bring in the markups I put up on the charts, the things I was looking out for. So right now, as you look right here, you can see on this chart, this is the one hour. So this was the way I marked up the charts. So let me just put the period delineator right here. So you can see those period separators right there. And this was the way I marked up the charts uh, before the NFP session. So right here on this day we had um on wednesday we saw price traded lower into a liquidity pool which became a liquidity run price trade through it um, consolidated a little and expanded higher <clears throat> excuse me expanded higher to the upside and say so on on thursday we saw price close at this um price level that's the 125 850 level that was where price closed on um, that was the highest price for thursday you understand so the next day will be the nfp session which is this day here on a friday so if i zoom in so you can see what i'm saying about i'm talking about um 
we saw just at midnight on chart time, just as midnight on chart time, which is also the Asian session, we saw price take out this high is created on on the Thursday. You understand? We saw price take out this high here on the Thursday, and we started seeing a consolidation and more like a sweep below this low. I didn't mark up this one because I've already seen it, so I didn't mark it out. So that was what we had saw here as when we entered into the London session, and things panned out. Price came down here and retraces. Then finally, what you see happen entirely the entire move on the Friday. So what happened? What what was the inner workings of the market? What was market really doing from an institutional standpoint? You understand? And how can how do we anticipate it with the NFP? So that's what I'm trying to explain in this video, so that you can also anticipate something like this in the next NFP session. For those of you looking forward to trade the NFP, mind you, I'm not advising you to, but it's something worth trying out. It's something worth watching. You understand? Maybe you can try it in your um, demo accounts to see how it pans out. So mind you, in the previous video, I said you want to um, look out for three component things. Um, three important things. Number one, you want to look out for an institutional reference point. You want to say number um, two, you want to see what price does when it do at that um, reference point. And number three, you want to wait for the first 15 minutes candle to close. You want to say, and this all happens. You want to say you are looking at this before and after the NFP news release. For instance, the news release comes out exactly 1:30. You want to say so before that 130 you want to first mark out where the institutional levels that price will likely reach for you want to say mind you the nfp is a massive a high impact news release so you want to mark out the first institutional level that price is going to run towards you want to say you want to see those levels clearly in your chart if you don't see it don't bother about it you must be clear you you want to be sure that it is there you want to say and in this case in my case if i drop down to the 15 minutes right here in this case I had marked out this was the level I was looking at right here. This was the level I was expecting price to come down to this liquidity um, right here. This liquidity pool right here. So I was expecting price to drop down on the sell side liquidity. Why price was right here? You get so on the higher point was this high here, but I'd seen that price has taken this high on Thursday. So I wasn't expecting price to come back to this high. You got what I'm say. Um, though I had an open mind, if it came back to the high, I wouldn't mind. But since I've seen a liquidity run right here, as, as I have outlined with this um, text um, text um, indicator right here, I've had outlined it a liquidity run. I was expecting a liquidity to this um, a liquidity pool, a draw of liquidity to this liquidity pool rather. So the, I mind if you look at this, a double bottom. You want to say um, retail mindset will see that as support, um, but institutional minded traders will see that as where price will take. Um, go, will go next to draw liquidity in order to fulfill his objective. So immediately when the news was released, um, I've already outlined that. You know, mind you, the first thing you want to do, you want to know this institutional reference point that price is going to reach for. That's the first thing. But you want to know that before the news is released. The second thing is that you want to see, um, you want to wait for the first 15 minutes candle to close. You want to say that's it. Um, Next thing you want to look out for, you want to watch how the next 15 minutes can be close. And that's this thing. It happens right here. Price drived into it. And this is um, this is exactly 12.30. So um, the news was released exactly um, 1.30. But 12.30, this, I'm using the SNS platform. So it's showing here 12.30. It is one hour late from um, our Nigerian time. So for those of us in New York, it is actually 8.30 New York time. You understand so but our chart time that is 12 30 you understand nigerian time 1 30 new york time 8 30 so i'm going to be using new york time you understand so exactly 8 30 you want to say the nfp news came out and we saw this drive on liquidity you want to say we saw this drive on liquidity down where 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 were they going for they were going for this what for this sell stops right here this liquidity pool that was what they were aiming for Immediately that price tanked into it, we saw a rejection, a quick response in price. And mind you, I've told you, whenever um, price drives into an area of value or an institutional reference point, you want to see a quick response to tell you, okay, yes, there is an institutional sponsorship in that level. You want to say, 
and in this case we saw that response in price exactly here on the 15 minutes but mind you i wasn't watching on the 15 minutes because i know sometimes the nfp um news um can give us a a really volatile move especially when it hits an area of um liquidity like this so i dropped down to the five minutes i say i dropped down to the five minutes after the first 15 minutes candle has closed and i saw this spike right here you want to see this um up close candle exactly um 1205 which is um 835 you want to see sorry that would be 845 rather exactly 845 i saw this um price move higher exactly here and that was why i entered you want to say so mind you the three components i say you want to look out for you want to mark out your areas of liquidity you want to say you want to look out for where we price take out you want to wait for the first 15 minutes candle rather to take out um price you want to say to take out that liquidity rather then you want to time your entries just the way i'm doing it right now so we saw this price take out this liquidity right here and gave us this spike up you want to say and this was why i entered why is it at this level so this is the level i told you guys i didn't complete the move to the upside neither do i did i take it down you understand so i only took to this portion why because if you watched my video on imbalance this is an imbalance right here you understand so price trading here i was so convinced that it has tanked for the imbalance so i took out my position and i was not ready to sell because i didn't know at that point whether it was going to continue higher or lower so i mind you during high impact news like this you want to trade with caution you don't want to just jump in there and start risking all the whole funds that you have but if i had money to spare definitely i would have taken this move you want to say at the time of record i would have risked it out you get but i was my i had funds to manage so definitely you don't want to go home crying you get and you can see price practically continued to um to two o'clock chart time which is um three o'clock at nigerian time and I believe that will be um, probably 10 o'clock um, New York time. So price continued up to that 10 o'clock session. And really we saw a reversal. So the next thing I want us to focus on is um, why this move actually happened. This um, re um, retracement right here. Why this retracement actually happened. You see I marked out, I marked out this area and I marked out this area. But mind you, before I show you that, on the other hand, I was expecting move on the upside to this level. Some of you ask me, um, why do you mark out this level here? Uh, let me zoom that in. Why do you mark out this level here? Yes, this is a double top. So I was expecting if the NFP session was very volatile, without wasting so much time, I wanted it to come to this area of liquidity right here, to these buy stops resting above this marketplace here, then probably we start seeing more bearish moves. But when I was... I was using um i was looking at the dollar index and i was looking at the pound so the correlation didn't rhyme the way i wanted it to so there are other workings that made me probably left the move early you get i was also looking at the aussie dollar so the workings i was seeing in the markets the mechanics i was observing in markets were not rhyming so i the confidence of me on the trade reduced and when you are your confidence for a particular trade is reduced my advice is get out of that trade because you don't want to be in a trade that you're not confident of because either you'll be managing your trade wrongly or you'll be risking anyhow you understand so you want to only trade when you are confident about the move when your facts are right you understand so my facts about the um the um cable which is the pounds breaking higher to that um level that price level which is um to this price level the um 26 280 level was not there anymore because I, I didn't see the um, um, correlations with the dollar the dollar index so I was expecting a reversal so more like a reversal boy retracement when you look at it from this standpoint so we saw price um, retrace use during the NFP after the NFP news release and see we cut the move halfway we saw price retrace into way into this other block right here you can see the other block right here on the 15 minutes you can see the other block I take us to the one hour we we'll see it clearly right there you understand so you can see it into the main threshold of this particular order block if i take you to the four hours too you see it clearly the price came right into where this order block right here you understand and also this particular order block the high the low of this order block right here so that was what price came in for so the moment i saw that i knew that okay our move is not going to continue higher 
as um joins with the correlations i saw on the dollar index and the aussie dollar i just knew that okay um this move is not going to continue higher we're going to expect lower moves so i practically just um sit on my hands and wait and see what the market did and mind you before then also i also had a downside objective which is right here which i'm going to um clear you can see that a um, marker here liquidity void also an imbalance for those of you that watch the imbalance video so i'm going to leave in a link in the description to that video so i was expecting okay if pricing gets to this break out this high right here if pricing take out this high or break out to this um 26 280 level price was going to retrace into this imbalance which i've been expecting since thursday you understand and that was what price actually did did i trade it no i did not trade it why i said earlier my confidence for the trade was already out i wasn't confident about the trade why because i wasn't seeing what i wanted to see align you understand so um i know some of you say what are you saying <laughs> i was seeing a lot actually so there are some things i want to see align in the market before i actually take a trade uh, get so it didn't align the way i wanted it to you know what i say even um the, that's why i actually risked a little on this particular liquidity um this liquidity take out here on buy stops you know what i'm saying so i just risked a little and take it um a little just midway into this um imbalance right here on the 15 minutes so i was out with just little profit so i didn't really catch the large portion of the nfp session the nfp um manipulations and reversals so this is practically what i was observing the way i would trade the nfp if i'm to trade it so i'm going to recap again for those of you um wanting to know okay what are the elements and things you look out for when trading the nfp just like you have marked up in my chart you want to know the story the context you want to see that is going on before the news release so before the news release you want to uh, mark out your areas of liquidity just the way i've outlined them here you see i marked out my liquidity right here i marked out the one that has taken out i marked out where it came from i marked out this void is my rightly it's my likely or rightly rich toe i also um say okay what are the near terms you want to see what i think he has taken out it has taken out this um swing low right here here in the london session it has retraced so we're going to start expecting downside objectives so i was expecting price to drop into here so the first thing i was looking for was i was looking for my areas of liquidity and this was what i was aiming for this liquidity here just at the 25 230 level so and price dropped down straight into it immediately i saw that i waited first for the 15 minutes candle to close that's the second element i was looking for and immediately the 15 minutes candle closed that was this particular big candle right here you get this they are a manipulation in price on the short term you understand it's into this um liquidity pool and all of a sudden I was waiting for a rejection a quick response in price in that area a quick response and that was what i saw you get on the five minutes you know what i'm going to say so i took the trade halfway closing in this void closing inwards in this void and finally i was out of the trade and you see what happened next there was a retracement some people would have held on to this trade thinking they've caught the nfp move thinking that price would go higher but I already saw that it won't go higher. So I was I went out. You know what I'm trying to say? You don't want to be forcing anything in the market. You want to be trading with um you want to trading with facts. You want to be trading with truths. You wanna say that's why we actually affect truths actually. So you want to be trading with real truths. You want to know okay, why would the market do what it will do? You wanna say why is the market actually doing what it's doing? Where would the market likely go to? These are the things that should be think you should be thinking of in your mind and with the benefit of smart money concepts um, and the institutional order flow, you are able to predict those directions in the market by looking at um, what price is doing now, what the price action will do, and what the price action has done already. You know what I'm so these are the benefit of smart money concepts. You know what I'm say? Not mind you, all these things drawn on my chart are not any. Um, it's not what actually make the trade happen. It's understanding what is really going on in the market. And mind if you look right here on this um curve right here this is a a, a market maker sell template this is a market maker sell template but mind you i wasn't seeing this why because i was very busy even during the nfp session so i wasn't even paying attention that this was a market maker sell template if not i would have taken this um trade you understand i would have taken this particular trade even before um the nfp news release you already see but I'm going to give you a short video about on the market maker series about this particular template. I'm going to explain to you how to anticipate this kind of move. 
So you may not be focusing on everything in the forex market. You understand? You may not be seeing everything pan out. But the ones you can see are those ones you want to pay attention to. That's the benefit of um, smart money institutional concepts. You want to be focusing on those things you can clearly see in your chart. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to be just trading everything that you see. You want to be concerned. You want to be in a concept, in a framework. You want to be in a contest rather and in a framework so that when something goes wrong, you know why it's going wrong. Like, you know, I told you I went out of the trade. Even without knowing, even without knowing that the trade was going to reverse completely. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to just reverse and take out the stops here and continue higher. You know what I'm saying? But immediately my price was filling in this void. You know what I'm saying? I just knew that price will not continue higher any longer for too long. It won't continue higher to that 26, 280 level. So I already knew that. So I was out of the trade already. So these are the concepts. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, I'm not telling you go in and trade NFP next month. I'm only saying these are concepts. These are things that will still happen in normal days other than even the NFP. You know what I'm saying? These are concepts that will still happen in other days. But for the benefit of the NFP on this month of June, these are the things that panned out. That's why I'm actually going through the charts to explain for you and for you to also actually understand and anticipate, learn how to anticipate the moves in the NFP. So I go over what I say again. Number one thing you want to know is you want to know what are the areas of liquidity on the buy side, on the sell side. You want to mark out those areas. Then number two thing, you want to see what liquidity price will reach for. Is it on towards the buy side? Is it towards the sell side? Then number three thing, you want to wait for the first 15 minutes candle to close immediately after the NFP news release. Then the number four thing, if you may add that, is you want to see the quick response in price at that area, either on the five minutes or in the 15 minutes. Then you will put your risks very low. Why? Because the NFP can be very volatile. But please try this, practice this first on a demo account, especially for new traders. Don't go into a live account and start risking life money on this, please. And because the um, NFP can be very, very wicked at times. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be concise in your risks. You know what I'm saying? So thank you very much. This is all I have for you in this particular video. I hope you find value in this video. Make sure you leave a like and also subscribe. And thank you for those of you enjoying the content here on this channel. For those of you commenting, I really do appreciate it. And by God's grace, I'll be releasing more content for you to help you become a better trader and a profitable one. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.